Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 1 Director's Cut. Uh, this is part 2. Alright, so we just almost became a Jill Sandwich and now we're continuing on. The audio at the beginning part here might be a little weird, but that's just because I changed some things with my settings and now it should be a lot better. Yeah, me and audio problems. Yay! Once again, every let's play. Anyway. Um But yeah, as you can tell, it's kind of skipping a little bit. It'll it'll balance itself out later. Kill two zombies. Where am I? Ah, yes, this hallway. Um, let's see. Does this door open? You unlocked it. Very good. Um, do I want to go through it? It's locked. Carving of a helmet. Uh, I don't think I want to go back. Yeah, I don't need to go back there until much, much later. What's back here? Oh, yes. Okay, um, got pictures on the walls, crows on the ceiling. Do not shoot your gun or the crows will attack you. Okay, now watch the specific order I tap these in. Okay, we have a, an infant, new, uh, newborn baby. Yes. Then we have infant, because it's going through the stages of life. Okay, a picture of an infant, there we go. Switch it, yes. And then he becomes a lively young boy, or something like that. A lively boy. Yeah, there. Um, uh, well, dr picture of a young man, okay. Then there's tired old man. Yeah, there's like worked over, or er, aged young man, something like that. Picture of a tired middle-aged man, okay. And then there's an old man. A bold old man. A bold looking. Wow. Okay, sorry. It's been a while. And then the picture is entitled The End of Life. There's a switch below. Will you push it? Yes. And if in the right order, it drops. And we get a medallion. And the crows won't attack you. Very good. Will you take the star crest. Sorry I said medallion, but you know, whatever. And then we could just leave the room. This is the only thing we needed to come in here for. Okay. Alrighty there, and uh, now we can continue on. Gonna head to the right. What's in the store? If I remember right, there should be a staircase. Staircase? No? Two, three. That's four ba wasted. Basted. No, wasted, uh. Oh, it's there. But I didn't kill him, so. Got a green herb. Herbs and herbs. British and American. Dum, dum, dum. Ooh, chemical. Okay, we need this. This is a very important item. The chemical. We will use that soon, I believe. I don't know when, but soon. Okay, green herb. I try to use as le as least the least amount of green herbs, solid green herbs, as possible. And I will not use the first aid because it messes with your ending. Because there's a good and a bad ending. If you use first aid kit, spray, whatever, 
it automatically gives you the bad ending no matter what. So, just thought I should let you guys know. Alright. Combine. Um, combine with the gun. Ah, uh, there we go. Should... Do I need the knife? I do need the knife, okay. I might end up there. There's only one use for the knife, really. Alright, headed upstairs. What's up here? Ooh, we got a zombie. Do you see... No, he doesn't see me yet. That, that doesn't make... Ah, he sees me now. Now I got both of them. What the... He didn't grab me. Stupid zombie. You'd think they'd be smarter. Me over here. Don't look at the wall. Instead, they're stupid. They look at the wall. They're like, mmm, tasty wall. I mean, th this, uh... This wallpaper. Taste of, uh... Paper. I'm sorry if I'm not being funny. It's actually been a while since I let's played. I I had to get the spirit back. And I'm actually sorta of, uh stressed out at the moment because of all the different events going on. Cause although drumline ended a while back, uh now we're in concert season, and uh, we're doing that stuff. I'm worried about uh, a house that I'm going to be moving into over the summer. Um, you know, getting good grades. It's raining really hard. It's thunderstorming pretty bad outside right now. Every once in a while, it shocks me. I should mention the date is 417. Look up the weather at Parsons. It looks terrible. You'll understand what I'm talking about now. For anyone who is actually interested in looking that up. Uh, yeah, I am voicing over this on the... Uh, uh, what, what? 4 is April. April 17. No, don't do that. The hell are you, zombie? Whoops, never mind. Biological weapons. Now that's a topic. If I'm correct, we've had our own taste in biological weapons, and that didn't go too well. I can't remember what exactly the event was. Oh, wait. All the suicide bombers. Now those are called bioweapons. You have biological figures as weapons. So terrorists have it. Oh, I'm not gonna say they have it, right? I'm absolutely not saying terrorism is okay. I'm just saying they got the whole bioweapon thing figured out. They are biologically you know, alive. And they are a weapon. Barry! Ah, we get the balcony scene Jill, here. What's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Really? Oh, this hall is dangerous. Maybe no, it's, it's not. better to secure our escape route first. It's the there only safe be room in that door somewhere. Well, sort of. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Sure. Let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful. Really powerful. Especially against especially living, against things. living things. things. Better take it with you. you. Take it with you. But how about, what about you, Barry? You? I have this. This. Thank you. I'll take I'll this take then. I'll take this then. Now we get the 
acid rounds for the bazooka. Very important weapon. And then he just runs off. I'm Barry Burton, running out of the scene. And then, yeah, we just get the chance to run around a bit. In which I'm gonna go back here to get the bazooka itself. Now, the last time I played Resident Evil, I was playing the DS version Deadly Silence. Okay, so I get through the whole entire game wondering where the hell the bazooka was. I'd gone through every freaking room, but I had forgotten right after the balcony scene to go into this room. So I had gone through the entire game without the bazooka. Anyway, so yeah, we have Forrest here. It's Forrest. He's been pecked to death by crows. And then the crows come back for a second run. You cannot eat me. But yeah. And now we get to go on. And yeah, if you uh check the blood, she'd be like, hmm, I sure hope this isn't Chris's blood. Or... Wow, no. I was thinking of Harry Burton. She'll be like, uh, I hope this isn't the blood of my teammates. And then once you come back out, hey, there's the Mona Lisa. I, I didn't say Medusa this time. She is not the crazy snake haired. I'm not going to continue that because I, I try not to cuss. But that, that was a Mitch Hedberg joke, if I remember. If I remember correctly. Uh, look up, uh,. He was talking about like pillars of salt, uh, a diner. My fries are salty enough. Mitch Hedberg's pretty cool. He's a comedian. Uh, he, I'm pretty sure he was high through half of his uh, performances, if not all of them. And uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. So you should look him up. But yeah, one thing you'll have to realize is I have a very dry sense of humor. So, um, Mitch Hedberg is like awesome. And he has a dry sense of humor. Anywho. But yeah, this is the only really use for the knife, getting back on subject of uh, zombie slaying here. By the way, another title, D. Helm the Zombie Slayer. Yes! How many titles do I have? Uh, it doesn't matter. I got too many. And one of them's not even D. Helm something. It's Alex Stefano. How I got that, I can't exactly remember. All I know is I used it recently in a English project that I had. Uh, we had to film our own commercial. And me and a couple friends uh, decided to do one of those uh, sappy animal commercials where it's all like, you know, save the animals. And we did a, a save the goats campaign. But it's not save the goats, it's save baby goats, otherwise known as kids. So we did a Save the Kids commercial. And in that commercial, I am Dr. Alex Stefano, goat expert. I, I am an expert on goat brains. And uh, yeah, goats in their premature days have a tendency to jump off buildings because they are, are unwanted and depressed. Uh, they, and they feel like, you know, it would be better if they just died. And I found this perfect picture of, like, people gathered around a goat right outside a building. And it, it's, of course, dead. And they're all worried about it. And I'm just like, it's perfect. And then I made the joke about them jumping off roofs. I... It, it fit in perfectly, but, uh, yeah, that, that's where Alex Stefano was last used. 
how I got the nickname Alex and Stefano is unknown to me. Oh yeah, and recently there's also Tiger Woods. I don't play golf, but I got a necklace with my uh, Jap Chinese uh, uh, animal symbol, which is the tiger. Um, and I don't know where Woods came from. I think Scott was just weird, being weird. And he was just kind of like, Tiger Woods. And now, you know, I'm Tiger Woods. <laughs> Anywho, that should be about it for this episode. I will see you all next time, in which we will, uh, I think, do something with the, uh, chemical. Trying to think, uh, right now I'm going through my inventory and sorting it out a bit. I think we're gonna deal with the chemical first. I can't remember. I believe so. That thunder, it's getting loud. Anywho, I'll see you all next time, and let's play Resident Evil. <laughs>